going around, around the outside, around the outside. The buffalo goes around the outside. What is that song? I don't know. It's like one of those dance songs, wasn't it? Around the outside. Cindy would know. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know it. Do I have the lyrics correct? Yeah. Oh, she says yes. Good. But I would hate to diss anyone. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. See that? Now, should I pull our ones out of the oven? Yeah, you just put them on a baking sheet. We'll put them on a baking sheet, and we're going to, we have a few, or let's say, one of each on our baking sheet, which we just want to toast them quick. We just want to get them a little toasty, because when we top them, you really can't toast them after that. That's right. So you don't want the middle to be mushy. They want the middle to be firm, like a nice crust on your pizza pie. So we're going to make a few different versions. Our first one will consist of just regular kind of tomato sauce. Made sauce. We're going to use our half the half the uh, plug and pita. That's right. There you go. A little leftover tomato sauce. You can use that. Either up. that or you, well, this is our jarred sauce. Right. With our mystery person's face on the front. <laughs> so just spread it around. There you go. This is the technique, the back of the spoon. Back of the spoon. In the pizza place, they would just use a big ladle. That's right. Otherwise, they'd drip it in. They go. Pretty simple. They make that noise too. <laughs> I haven't heard. No, so first you're gonna put mozzarella cheese. You're right, Kathy. Glad you showed me. That's why you're here. That's okay. So we have our tomato sauce. Then we add some shredded mozzarella. Because of course you could buy shredded. Of course you could. Yeah, and you or can you use any shred kind of cheese. Shredded on your own. Any kind of cheese you want. But we got different cheeses. We're making different varieties here. No. Nope. That one. That pizza gets the mushrooms. <laughs> Known from the spinach. Sorry. That's okay. Going ahead. Okay. In a frying pan here, we have some sautéed mushrooms and onions. One of my favorite things in the world on its own. I don't know why. I just love this. It's a great side to anything. But we are going to take some of these. And this is going to be put into our pizza. See, now this is where you should cook the vegetables sometimes. You right. can put fresh mushrooms on, but if you wanted to put broccoli on... You could use any vegetable you really like. Yeah. So you can just put it blanch them or steam them quickly so they're partially cooked because they're not probably going to cook the whole way because we're just going to be basically putting it in there to melt the cheese, right? That's right. Now we add a little oregano? A little oregano. A little oregano. Or basil, whichever. This is basil. Oh, it okay. is? <laughs> Oregano's good, too. A little dried basil on top. So that's number one. That's number one. <laughs> number two. Now can I make one with the cheese? Yes. The feta cheese? Yes, you may. Okay. Can I put tomato sauce down or no? You, no, you just put the spinach down. Just putting the spinach down. We're doing this on the tortilla? Nope, we're doing it on the other pita. We're doing pita. it on the other pita, the non-pocket pita. This is kind of the Greek style pizza. Greek style pizza. Okay, cool. A little chopped spinach that little you drained. Spinach. We just drained it. Squeeze out the juice. That's right. If you don't want it to be too mushy, spread that out. Then we'll put some feta. Feta. Everything's okay. better with feta. <laughs> Did you make that up? I think I did. <laughs> if I see anybody using it out there, I'm going to sue. Oh. <laughs> and then some chopped tomato. There you go. Diced up tomato. Just like that. And then we'll drizzle with a little olive oil. Yeah. That would be good. Then I'm going to do a little in the middle, but then I'm going to drizzle a little bit on the outside. That'll be great. Because it's, it's dry, because we're not using the sauce base. A little fresh pepper. Anything else? That's it? Fresh pepper? Yep. That looks really good. Have you really seen um, salad pizza? Yeah. Where yeah. they just put the tomato sauce and then it's like shredded lettuce. and Yeah. yeah I've had that. It's pretty good. I just saw that for the first time. Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. cool. Yeah, because those people think, but that's without the cheese. No But cheese. it's still good. I like it's it. It's actually really cheese. light. No, I know, but I'm saying it's still good. I'm not saying it could ever replace <laughs> the traditional pizza, Kathy. Please, I'm not, I'm not making banners. I'm not protesting. I'm just saying it's good. That's right. But some people look at it and go... But it doesn't have cheese. How could I ever eat it? <laughs> that's you what can't. I would say. <laughs> okay. That's what you said? That's what I said. You brought it up. It should have cheese on it. But I thought it was an interesting concept. It very much is. Now, this makes sense, and I know I'm skipping ahead to use the tortilla for something else, but our Mexican-style pizza, we are using the tortilla, our flour yeah. tortilla. And as a base, we are going to be using some fresh salsa. Now, we've showed you how to make salsa on the show before, which is fairly quick and easy. You can also buy some fresh salsa in your dairy section, which we suggest you use because it's got a 
bit more pizzazz, it's chunkier, it's fresher, it's, it's simply better tasting. You can see all the fresh ingredients yeah. in it. Yeah, and this is a chunky salsa, which is going to be great for this. Then we will put down some Monterey Jack. Mmm. Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack melts perfectly, doesn't it? Yes. Bubbles nicely. It's great. Then we will top with a little black olive, which is what I love black olive on pizza. Oh, you do? Do you? Yes, I do. Cool. One of my favorite combinations is black olive and pepperoni. Black olive and pepperoni? Pepperoni. Like then we have some red pepper. There you go. And then we have a little bit of jalapeno in a can. Green chilies. Green chilies. So they're not jalapenos, they're chilies. Well, those are, those are different from jalapenos because they're a little milder. They're not as, yeah. you want to taste one, they're like, <laughs> you don't have to. They're not as uh, spicy as jalapenos, are they? No. Am I lying? <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm tasting. I'm giving you an honest taste. I'm giving you the honest read. I taste it. No, they're a little more mild and their flavor comes from the brine that they're soaked right. in. The brine. The brine. Arg. Mickey. Brine. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Monterey back on the top. Oh. Pretty daring. Now we pop this in the oven. This shouldn't take too long. No. Because they're all going to cook from the top. That's right. Under the broiler. Just basically until it melts. Until they melt. Because you don't want too... Because like some of these, these tortillas and the, the half of pita will burst in the flames if you leave them in there too long. <laughs> so I'll pop that in there about 375? Oh, no. You can put them right under the broiler. Oh. You could put them in the oven, but it's faster. And you want you them to cook right on under. top. Right. So we'll put it in the broiler. That's right. Okay, so they're in the broiler. We're going to watch them, make sure the tops get nice and bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to make one with a uh, pre-bought dough. That's right. Well, a pre-bought crust. It's not the dough, it's the crust. It's going to be done, and we're going to dress it up really schnazzy. So stay tuned to How to Boil Water. We'll be right back on our pizza special day. The pizza day. Pizza day, just like it's cool. Today you'll be having pizza with elbow oak macaroni. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. I'm there, dude. So kick it. Huh. We've got a reservation for you. Welcome back to How to Boil Water. I'm Sean Donnellan, and today we are making pizza. Now I have to apologize. We told a little bit of a fib when we went out to break that we were going to be using a pre-bought pizza crust. We're actually using a pre-bought pizza dough that we're going to acquire from our local pizzeria. That's right. Which they'll sell you dough happily. Yes, usually. I would think sometimes they might get a little bent out of shape. Like, what do you, what, what do you mean you make on your own? <laughs> what do you mean? What, my pie no good? You don't like my pie? You got a problem with my pie? <laughs> I, uh, you know, no, 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 take the dough, do your own thing. <laughs> no, actually, they're very gracious about the whole process. So. Here we have some dough that we did get from our local pizzeria. What you do when you want to get home is you want to put it in a bowl with some olive oil in. You see the olive oil kind of has in there, which will help it when it rises not to stick to the bowl. That's right. And it'll make it easy to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two different things. Actually, we're going to make another pizza, and we're going to make a calzone. Mmm, that's mm. very exciting. Calzone. <laughs> There's a local pizzeria I used to go to. Yeah. It's called the Corner of Italy. <laughs> it's on the corner of this place. They had this thing called the taco. What's that? It's like a calzone with like taco stuff in it, like oh, taco really? meat and spices and cheese. Was it good? And then it was like deep fried. Oh. I'm sure it took like five years off my life, but I went through a phase where I think I ate like four of those a week. Oh, God. I was obsessed with the taco. And actually, it was one of their their slogans was "Home of the taco." Oh, really? They had created this. <laughs> Home of the taco. Home of the taco. They deep fried it? Wow. Yeah, it was just sinful. Wow. Now we're trying to spread this out onto a, this is a pizza pan, isn't it? Yes, it is. Pizza round. You now could our, use a rectangular sheet. You could you use have. a rectangular. It doesn't have to be round. No. Now, are these, these aren't that expensive, though, if somebody wanted to pick one up. True? Oh, no. They're very cheap. And usually you can get them in a grocery store nowadays. Also, aside from our dough being oiled, we oiled the pan as well. So it doesn't stick. So after it bakes, it'll come off easily. I don't know what I'm doing, but it seems like I'm making the crust. I'm making the crust. Very it's good. Not, it's not something you told me to do necessarily. I just feel I must. I <laughs> must. I must. I must increase my crust. <laughs> this 
is God, Margaret. Uh, did you read that, that book? We all had to read that book. <laughs> Fifth grade. Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom. Are you there, God? Are you there, God? It's Margaret, right? Yeah, it's me, Margaret. It's me, Margaret. That's okay. right. So what are you going to put on top of that pizza? We got it all together, right? <laughs> just got to put these little... We must. We must. We must. <laughs> Pre-shape our crust. <laughs> Are you there, guys? No, it's always going to slide a little. It's me, Sean and Kathy. <laughs> so he's going to creep in? Yep. So don't worry I'm not getting it. obsessive? Yes, you are. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not what I'm Chill supposed out. to do? That's okay. okay. Now what we're going to use is some pesto that we have picked up from our dairy section as well. But oh, this feels so good in my hands. I feel supple and smooth for the first time in my life. My hands aren't dry and crackly. No, I'm okay. You're I like okay? this. Okay. I'm digging it. It's very cool. I feel like I'm getting a manicure or something. Like just rubbing <laughs> He's pulling it. <laughs> Pull your fingers <laughs> apart. So we have our pesto, which of course we've showed you how to make pesto before on the show, which you could make on your own if you have some stored up. We showed you how to freeze it. We're going to take some pesto, put it in the middle, spread it around just like we did with our tomato sauce. Kind of an alternative to, to a tomato yeah, sauce. Yeah, I like this idea. You do? Yeah, it's a good idea. Tomato sauce is good too. Was this your idea? Yes, it was. I commend you on it. It's a good one. Okay. Spread it all the way up. All the way out. I always like my sauce all the way out to the edge. Yeah, you don't want that just... Huge crust. No, not huge. You want crust, but you don't want huge crust. <laughs> Excessive crust. Now we will add some slices of mozzarella, like this. We're using fresh mozzarella, which is now available in most grocery stores. It seems almost like everything's available. I know. In most grocery stores. Coming an international world. I mean, beyond like fresh mozzarella, you can also get like motor oil, <laughs> which is pretty cool. M motor oil? Yeah, motor oil. And the supermarket. Excuse me, sir. I can get some motor oil. Motor oil. Now, a slice of the tomato. That's a nice tomato slice. There you go. That's a nice tomato slice. <laughs> Remember when I did that? Yeah, what were over you doing? Over and over. We were slicing a tomato for the first time. I think making a BLT or something. Okay. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Many moons ago. Cheese again? A little more. A little more cheese? Oh, dear. Oh, dear? It's a lot of cheese. It's a pizza, Kathy. Okay. Look at this. So we'll do this. Cover these little tomatoes. Like that? A little red onion on top? Mmm. That would be good. Spread it around. I had never tried onions on a pizza before. No? No. Something my uncle talked me into. I was just like, no way, ew, did you ever try it? No, ew, try it, should I try it? No, ew. And I tried it, and I was like, all right, it's good. But that's a commitment for the what, you know, what you're going to smell like the rest of the day. That's true. <laughs> you're making a commitment when you do that. A little more pesto on top. There you go. There we go. Things very cool. Looking good? Yes? Bake it off. Bake it off. Now, do we bake this, or do we broil that? Oh, you definitely bake it. You have to bake it because the dough's not cooked. That's right. So it's got to give the chance of dough to rise. We're going to bake it at 400 degrees, which is pretty high. 400 degrees. About 15, 20 minutes. So my suggestion is, those last five minutes, keep your eye on it. If you like it crispy, you might have to bake it a little longer. Depending on how you like it. And you can notice by the edge of the crust, probably. That's right. Probably. <laughs> Seemed real, real firm on that. Now we're going to take more of our dough from our pizzeria, and we are going to make a calzone. So we got to flour our countertop here. I love this move, Kathy. I feel like, like a professional when I do this. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You move, you move your flour around. You get it all going in there, huh? Then you take your rolling pin, you want to put a flour on that. I feel like a gymnast getting ready to vault <laughs> through the rings or something. <laughs> there you go. Take care, Sarah. There. Work the olive oil around. Throw this down. You know, we used um, frozen bread dough the last time we did this. Yeah. That's always good to use. How you doing? Uh, not doing too bad. <laughs> it's rolling up. I need more flour on this. More flour? I know what's going on here. You've done this before. Yeah. You just kind of roll it <laughs> into a circle. More on the bottom? There you go. We're just trying to make this a big circle. Because I don't know if you've ever noticed, when you get a calzone, it's basically a circle folded in half. Half moon. 
You need more room? <laughs> I need space, Kathy. <laughs> Sorry it had to end like this, but I just need my space. <laughs> there, that's good. All right, all right, all right. It's not exactly the circular, though. Well, you can work on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. It feels good, actually. It looks... It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Yes, it does. Approximately. I'm just trying to get it so it's something. Okay. Something other than, uh... Amoeba. <laughs> that looks That's what good. It like now. Okay. Now we will fill this with some ragotta cheese. Oh, yes. Put it here. Correct? That's right. Spread around. No, not too much. You want to keep it in the middle. Okay. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Like so. And some parmesan. And some parmesan. Fold it over. Woo! Work your edge again, just like the crust. Pinch it together. Pinch, pinch. So cute. You're so cute. <laughs> it is so big. So big. <laughs> You're going to get in the oven and get so big. So big. Now the big trick is to get it onto this. Now my guess is I could do something like this and help it along. Very good. Very good. This is the part you were worried about. I wouldn't <laughs> be able to do that. But so big, so big, so big, so big, cute, so big. Now we'll put this in the oven with our pizza. How long? <laughs> same temperature, same bacon? It's about 30 minutes. 30 minutes on the calzone, 400 It'll degrees as nice well? nice and brown, yes. Nice and brown on the top, so you keep your eye on it. And when we come back, and how to boil water, we will show you the 30,000 versions of pizza we've made <laughs> and our giant calzone. All when we return, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss a second of this nonstop action. Slicing up the pizza, slicing up the pizza, get a nice slice of this pesto tomato onion pizza. Woo! Make sure we get it all under there. Oh, the last little piece. Woo! Check that out. What a nice slice of pizza. That's nice, thick, delicious. Of course, next to it over here, we have our giant calzone, the size of Milwaukee. Very wonderful size calzone. I like that. That's good for those hearty winter nights. And then over here, we have our three pizzas that we made with our flour tortilla, Mexican style, our non-pocket pita, with kind of a Greek style, their feta cheese, or spinach, and our tomato. And then, of course, our more traditional style with the sautéed mushrooms and onions, the mozzarella, and a little tomato sauce on the pocket pita cut in half. Now, what I'd like you to do is to send us some mail. Comments, questions, suggestions you might have. If you need a recipe from the show, all you have to do is check the address, the show number at the end, and send us that self-addressed stamped envelope We'll be happy to send that back out to you. And also, if you have a recipe you'd like us to try on the show, we'd love to hear it. So send that in. But for now, that's about all the time I have. I hope you enjoyed our pizza show here. Well, it's kind of four pizzas and a calzone. It's like four weddings and some Italian food. I don't know. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.